Hi there, thanks for joining. I'm Marie Daniels and today we're talking about townhomes. And you might be wondering why I'm talking about townhomes in my Sprinter van. Well, my Sprinter van is my mobile office and today this is where I'm at. So I decided to throw a camera on and get a little content out. So townhomes, why? Well, as many of you know, the last three years we've just watched the real estate market boom, right? And inventory is low. So basics of supply and demand, inventory is low, prices are increasing and they are high. So one of the things that we do know is that one of the popular property types out there right now outside of single family residences is now townhomes. Well, there's just a few things you need to consider when considering purchasing a townhome though, right? And so I'll make this quick and short, just a really, really quick video for you. But I have three things that you really need to consider. And that is your lifestyle, the HOAs, and your general needs in a home. Okay, lifestyle. Are you a big gardener? Do you love to entertain outdoors, have a big space? Townhome might not be for you. Generally, they have very small yards, if at all. And sometimes they have patios. So what are you gonna do? So you really need to kind of take a look at that. Uh, do you have hobbies that require a lot of space? If that is the case, you need to kind of rethink that. Do you need a lot of storage for that for that hobby? Do you have large items that you need to store? Townhomes aren't always equipped with two car garages that you can kind of manipulate and utilize that way. Sometimes it is a single car garage. Sometimes it's a carport with maybe a small storage unit. So keep that in mind. Um, your lifestyle is really going to uh, determine whether you can actually live happily in a townhome or not. HOAs. I tell everybody this all the time, but HOAs are either amazing or they suck. I mean, somewhere in between, there are a few of them lie, but you know, if they've got uh, an HOA that is communicative, they respond very quickly, they really value the input from homeowners, that's fantastic. What you really want to do is see what their balance sheets look like. Have they been really maintaining the property to function well, look great? Uh, you know, are they maintaining all of the shared amenities like pools and tennis courts and the yards and trees, etc.? So, you know, really take a good look at the community and see if you think that they've been doing a good job and then find out when you look at their CCNRs and their HOA uh, docs, okay? The monthly fees can vary and they can vary quite a bit. They can vary uh, depending on the amount of amenities that they have and they can vary depending on uh, the amount of maintenance that they actually do for your property. So you want to make sure that you're taking a look at all of those things and it can be a wide swing. Some of them are very reasonably priced and some of them are not. Uh, there are other things to take in consideration. If it is an HOA that has deferred maintenance, which means that they have been putting off uh, maintaining or doing a specific repair within the community, you may see that there are special assessment fees, which means that's on top of your monthly dues because they have to do a project that is uh, benefiting the community like um, you know re repaving the road or you know doing something with uh, the foundations of the buildings etc these are things that I have come across and you need to be aware that they can really jump up the monthly fees for your HOAs other than that really you've got to remember that parking is generally at a minimum in an HOA townhomes a community uh, parking is generally for those who come to visit and for those who live in the community. And that sometimes can cause a constraint on the amount of space that you have. The other is really that storage issue. You've got to recognize that storage can be an issue. Privacy, remember one or two walls will be joined with a neighbor. Is that gonna bother you? Is that a, is that a problem? So I hope that today's video gave you some valuable information as you're considering a townhome for your next home, but if you have any questions, as always, leave me a, a comment and I will get to it. Or if there are other videos that you would like to see me produce, go ahead and ask your question. Let me know. I'll get to it. And if this was all valuable to you, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that little bell and we'll let you know the next time we do another video. As for now, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye.